It's Tuesday night and we're in Vancouver, where the Calgary Flames face the Canucks at No Signal Arena for the last regular season game at home and Fan Appreciation Night. Get it on. First period and the Canucks would find themselves shorthanded, but that wouldn't stop Bluger finding Tyler Myers to open the scoring in the game. Well, with it being Fan Appreciation Night, Vic, there's only one thing the fans came here to see, and that's whipping out the hog, Kenny. Second period, and it's Dakota Joshua flicking it top shelf past Markstrom to add another point for the Canucks. Still in the second period, and after an incident, things get a little heated in front of the benches. Hoaglander would get called a major penalty, so we better check in with our rules analyst, Guy Ladouche, to sort this all out. Thanks, Vic. Well, as we check the replay, we can see Hoaglander lays the cross check, but the Flames player snaps his head back, which is what the ladies call faking it. So as a result, Hoaglander's penalty will be downgraded to two minutes, but Adam Klapka and Connor Garland would get 10 minute misconducts for their extra activities. <laughs> Third period now, and a big save from Quinn Hughes. That deserves a BC Highway overpass impact replay. Yeah, Vic. It doesn't get any closer than this, but he still manages to pull out. Kenny. Later in the third, Calgary would finally get a point on the board as they get one past Demko. But then a turnover at the blue line would see JT Miller picking it up and getting it past Markstrom for another Canucks point. Yeah, Canucks like that top shelf on Markstrom. Like car commercials, like the Camby Bridge. Right you are, Ken, and that would do it for this game. Canucks win this one by a score of 4-1. to one. Yeah, Vic, great game. And Pronek had a reminder for the Flames. You have holidays in two days. <laughs> but then reminded the Canucks of their unofficial season slogan. Don't get eliminated!